My name is Michael Young, and I work at the Rockefeller University. Been there since 1978, uh, so I'm coming up on my 40th year, and uh, uh, work on biological clocks, circadian rhythms, uh, behavioral genetics is, uh, is uh, something that would surround all the work that we're doing. We work on these uh, problems in fruit flies, Drosophila, on the one hand, and on the other we uh, explore this biology in humans. We've been studying a, a, a fairly common sleep disorder called delayed sleep phase disorder. These are uh, individuals that are night owls. Uh, they have a very difficult time adapting their uh, their schedules to the schedules of the rest of the world around them. Uh, and we began to study uh, a group of individuals that have been diagnosed with this disorder uh, a few years ago. And we found uh, a family uh, which, uh, in which several members of the family um, appeared to inherit a change, a genetic change that predisposed them into, uh, with regard to this kind of behavior. And it turned out to be a mutation in a gene that we'd previously studied in animal models and knew was a fundamental component of a molecular uh, daily clock or circadian clock uh, that we've been studying. Uh, and so we were quite familiar with the nature of that gene and what it might be doing. It's really a, a mutation that's pretty prevalent. It's found in about uh, a little less than 1% of the world's population. We're getting um, increasingly large amounts of data about the human genome now so that um, uh, many of the, uh, uh, the banks, the data banks that uh, are looking at uh, human data contain hundreds of thousands of um, individual whole genetic sequences. We know that those databases almost certainly contain all the heritable, the genetically uh, present uh, uh, variation that would be associated with uh, disease. And so I, I think in the next couple of decades what we're going to find is it's going to be increasingly uh, 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 found that we can link those specific genetic changes to specific biological effects uh, either on sleep or on some uh, function of our biology that is controlled by these uh, this multitude of clocks in our bodies. So um, hopefully in 10 or, 10 or 20 years we would have a, a very broad uh, understanding of, of uh, how uh, heritable, genetically based uh, uh, difficulties arise and, and with that knowledge uh, strong ideas about how to address those problems.